can you solve this question within 10 second no then wait i will discuss the tricks so that you will be able to solve this easily hello my dear family members easy questions can be solved by anyone but the game changing questions are those which can be solvable by very few students so today we will discuss an important question that is count of zeros which must be asked in tcs nqt exam Please keep watching till the end cause I'll show you the recent real questions. So let's see. But before you proceed, I would recommend you to have the TCS NQT Prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions, previous year questions and the mock test as well. So to get that, knock me at page ID, instagram.com slash techno.uf, you will get it. Okay. So let's see the first question. Before you start discussing the question, at first you have to know that is uh, to find the total number of zeros at the end, you have to always find the total number of pairs of twos and five, right? And in any in any series or in any factorial, there can be there there must be total uh, occurrence of twos will be greater than fives occurrence. That that's why you have to find only the fives occurrence. Then you will get the total number of pairs, right? And the total number of pairs of two and five will reflect the total number of zero right so after two and five multiplied we get 10 right that means one zero right so the total number of pairs the total number of zeros will be there right so i hope you got it right so let's start with an example so if you have been asked to find the total number of zeros after five factorial so what would you do that you can expand this five as five four three two and one right so total number of pairs is five and two is one right that that's why the total number of zeros after five factorial will be one right and if you are asked to calculate the total number of uh, zeros at the end of 10 factorial then you, will, you can expand like 10 9 8 7 5 4 3 2 1 right so there can be 2 5 and 2 2 right that means here the 10 can be uh, represented as 2 cos 5 and here 1 5 is present and here also a 2 present right so the total two pairs of 2 and 5 can be possible that's why the total zeros will be 2 right so i hope you got it but if the number is more greater then will we expand like uh, if the number is 100 factorial then would you expand like 100 multiply 99 multiply 98 multiply dot 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 multiply 1 no right so there must be some trick so that i am here i am here to show you the trick how to calculate the greater numbers count of zero right so if the number is 100 factorial so just count the total number of five present inside 100 factorial right so how do you count that the total number of fact, total number of five occurrence inside 100 factorial that is just divide this by 5 and get all the quotients of this right so 5 20s are 100 5 4s are 20 so these quotients are the occurrence of 5s inside 100 factorial so 20 plus 4 is 24 that is the total number of occurrence of 5 inside 100 factorial and we can say total 24 zeros present inside 100 factorial right so if the number is 20 200 factorial then how many zeros will be there that is just divide this by 5 right so 5 40s are 200 5 8s are 40 5 ones are 5 right so just leave the remainder 3 as it is and just add the quotients like 40 plus 8 48 plus 1 that is 49 so total number of occurrence of 5 is 49 and the total number of zeros will also be 49 in 200 factorial right so i hope you understood how to calculate the total number of zeros inside any number let's say the number is uh, 10 factorial right so 10 factorials uh, as we have calculated by manual process so just now uh, do it like uh, this way so if we divide this 5 2 are 10 then we get the quotient is 2 and it cannot be uh, divided further that's why the quotient 2 is the total number of zeros uh, inside 10 factorial right so this is the easiest way to calculate the total number of zeros inside any factorial right so i am now giving so i am now giving you a problem let me 
गिव द आंसर ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ जीरो इन साइड थ्री हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल सो आई विल सी हाउ मेनी आर यू वॉचिंग एटेंटिवली सो प्लीज गिव मी दैट ओके सो एक्चुअली इन टी सी एस एन क्यू टी यू विल नॉट बी आस्ट डिरेक्टली लाइक जस्ट गिव मी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ जीरो इन साइड टू हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल और थ्री हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल यू विल बी आस्ट लाइक आई एम सोइंग यू द प्रॉब्लम दैट इज so you have you will be asked like this right so you will be given an equation like 100 factorial into 20 200 factorial plus 100 factorial plus 200 factorial so what will be the count of zeros at the end of this calculation so this is very huge calculation huge number right so how would you calculate that so let me show you the solution so as we have got that 100 factorial has total zeros 24 right so let me solve it so total number of zeros in 100 factorial is 24 right and total number of zeros in 200 factorial is what that is 49 right and in 100 factorial that is 24 and in 200 factorial that is 49 right total these these are the number of zeros right so one thing you have to know that is if we multiply between we multiply two numbers then the number of zeros will be added number of zeros will be added like 200 so total number of zeros are 2 right if the if the if we multiply 200 by 10 then the total number of zeros will be added like the resultant number will be having three zeros like uh 2000 right but if we add two numbers then the total number of zeros will be combined like uh, if the number is 20 plus 10 or 100 plus 20 then the total number of zeros will be same as the lesson number has right so lesson number has 10 then the resultant value will also have the uh, will also have the same zeros as the lesson number has right that means 120 and the lesson number has 10 that's why here also the total number of zeros is 1 right like uh, if the number is 200 plus uh 3000 let's say okay so total number of zeros will be same in the resultant as the lesson number has like the resultant will also have the total number of zeros as 2 right that means 3 3000 plus 200 is 3200 right so total number of zeros is same as the lesson number has right so you have to know this why i am showing you why so as we are calculating this so 24 multiply 49 so in this case total number of zeros will be added but in this case total number of zeros will be same as the lesson number has the lesson number has 24 zeros at the end while addition the total number of zeros at the resultant value will be same as the lesson number has right and in this case whatever the number it is whatever the number it is this will be added right as we are multiplying 24 multiply 49 so the total number of zeros will be added in this resultant value right but we will not add that because we got that here is a addition mark so whatever the value is it is greater than 24 right but while addition the total number of zeros in the resultant will be the will be same as the lesson number has so lesson number is 20 uh, the number which is having 24 zeros that's why the total number of zeros in the resultant will also be 24 right so that means the total number of zeros after calculation will be 24 at the end of the equation right so i hope you got it right so if you still have any problem then let me know in the comment section i'll show you right uh, i i'll uh, discuss more in the comment section as well right okay so let me go to the next question that is so this is the second type of problem which can be asked in the exam and which already asked right so please give importance don't avoid any question so how many count of zeros are there in this series okay so in this product so as i have told earlier just to start finding the total number of pairs of 2 and 5 this will be easier but as you can say you can see here also total number of twos 
can uh, more than total number of fives right so that's why just start finding the total number of fives this will be shortcut to find the total number of zeros in this case right so total number of fives uh let's let me see it so here total number of fives is one and here total number of fives is two right so total number of fives are three right so there can be total so there can be total three pairs possible between two and five so that means total three zero possible at the end of the calculation right so i hope you got it so i will show you a similar type of question which is a quiz question so please give me the answer in the comment section right so let me show it So this is a quiz problem for you. Please give me the answer in the comment section. Little, uh, this is a little bit tricky, but solvable, right? So I hope you will uh, little bit research about the question and give me the answer in the comment section, right? So now let me show you the actual question which is asked in uh, exam, right? So the question is this, right? Find the number of zeros in the product. 1 to the power 1 multiply 2 to the power 2 multiply 3 to the power 3 dot 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 multiply 49 to the power 49 so what will be the answer so uh, this is also a third type of problem which can be asked in the exam right so let me show you the answer so as i have told earlier that is you have to find the total number of two and five pairs but th this will be easier if we just find the total number of fives and you, you will get the total number of zeros right so let us find the total number of fives are there so in this case as you can see 1 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 3 to the power 3 these are not having any fives only the uh, uh, only the present of 5 possible inside 5 to the power 5 10 to the power 10 and 15 to the power 15 and uh, 20 to the power 20 and 25 to the power 25 and this way 30 to the power 30 30 35 to the power 35 40 to the power 40 and 45 to the power 45 right so in this case so as you can see 5 to the power 5 having how many fives are there that is five fives are there right fives are there right so that means in this case total number of fives are five in this case total number of fives are 10 in this case total number of 5 15 in this case total number of fives are 20 25 30 and 35 and sorry 40 and 45 right so total number of fives are just count these and these are the total number of fives right so 5 5 10 15 20 25 so 5 and 4 to 6 4 10 3 13 3 16 20 22 so total 225 fives are there that means total number of zeros are 25 right so this is the answer so i hope you got it how am i doing this getting the solution right so i hope you will give both quiz questions answer to motivate me right and to practice more so if you love this session please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help and get the job together right and if you want the prime materials then knock me at page id instagram.com slash techno.tvf it will be very much helpful to you i am assuring you okay and if you want to discuss more then join our telegram channel t.me slash ubk anna you will get more discussion right so thank you for today's session